Hi there, as you know, rule of cosines signifies and shows the relation between the length of sides of a triangle with respect to the cosine of its angle. This is what students learn in calculus in high school or general calculus in university and used when uh, dealing with a geometrical problem regarding to free body diagram in statics and dynamics. If you look at this ABC triangle, then as per the statement of cosine rule, we have C squared is equal to B squared plus A squared minus 2AB cosine of angle C. Here, small letters ABC are used to name sides and, and capital letters ABC are used for angles. Let's prove this relation. First, I draw this height starting from point B, normal to the base. I call the intercept point D. Now, let's look at this triangle, BCD. I can write cosine C is equal to CD over A, or CD equal to A cosine C. Now, look at this space. I can get DA as B minus CD or B minus A cosine C. We call it relation one. Now look at triangle BCD. According to the sine definition, we have sine angle C is equal to BD over A. A is hypotenuse. Or we can write it down as BD equal to A sine C. We call this relation two. Now in triangle ABD or ADB, if we apply the Pythagorean theorem, then we have c squared is equal to bd squared plus d squared. Over here, c2 is hypotenuse, right? Now, if we substitute for bd and da from equations 1 and 2, then we have this relation. c squared is equal to a sine c squared plus b minus a cosine c squared. By expanding it, we get this relation. Look at this sentence. Uh, we have here a squared as common factor between the first term of the right hand side of equation and the fourth term of the right hand side of equation. So we can write the equation as c squared equal to a squared times sine squared plus cosine squared of angle c plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. Of course, we know that this term is equal to 1. Sine squared plus cosine squared of an angle is equal to 1. So we can rewrite the last equation as c squared equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of angle c. So the cosine law is proved. We can get and prove the rest of the equation in a similar